Amidst this quarantine period, I try to do something nostalgic. I played some PC games that I loved way back then. I finished NFS Most Wanted, GTA San Andreas, Skyrim, Test Drive Unlimited, Dead Island. I almost wanted to go play Halo and other classic games that I got addicted to. But something hit me. I remember those weird little games I played when I was younger. Some random games I downloaded from CNET.com or just got from a weird bootleg CD labeled games. That looked like it came from the dark web or something. I tried remembering all the games I played planning to do a throwback video of my top games that I enjoyed playing in my childhood. And here we are, welcome to this new series, Nostalgic Games or Nostal Games, where I revisit some weird old games that I played on my childhood which brings nostalgia to me years later, and maybe it's also nostalgic for you. Today I'm gonna cover two games both in the racing genre, little fact I always wanted to drive a car when I was a child. I always go to bump cars on the carnivals. I wanted to be in the front passenger seat of car just to imagine that I'm the one driving. And the racing boot is the first thing I run up into an arcade. So one day I got this CD, this disc. I remember it came from my dad's. And it's just a normal CD, no fancy cases. And it just has the label games. So from the time I got a hold of it, I was very excited knowing that there's a new game for me in here, maybe more than I expect. I booted the disc, it greeted me with a bunch of folders. I don't know where my dad got this gem, like it literally looked like it came straight from the black market. But it doesn't matter, I'm a kid, I got these games and I'm sold. So I went up excited knowing I got many games. First up, I got this game, got me all up excited, it's called Light Driver 2.0 I don't know what this is but heck yeah it says driver I tried looking it up today and I got this very old link that has a free download and now I got a chance to show it to all of you so this game Light Driver it's, it's a nice 3d car game you need to drive the car in first person late at night without the car bumping in to any outside objects so you need to drive in the middle of the dark road with just your headlights on and avoid obstacles that's that little did i know that this game light driver is an advertisement mini game from the company hella hella not that hella it's an internationally operating german automotive part supplier the company develops and manufactures lighting and electronic components and system for the uh, automotive industry. So the brand usually is a headlight company and the game itself is an ad translated to a game. You need to use those various headlights, same headlights they're trying to sell us, just to drive successfully in the middle of the dark road using them lights to avoid the obstruction while you go further. First time I played it today, I was crap driver. I was bumped to the side, to the obstacles, to the cars, and I always thought that you need to go faster. The buttons are too sensitive that if you press too long, you'll end up crashing to the side. The space is also very narrow. You need to be precise on your turns, or else you'll either crash to the barrier or into the obstacle you're avoiding. I played a couple of times before I get the hang of it, yeah. I learned that you don't need to be in the top speed every time. There's this bar you should check on, you press on the throttle. The bar goes up, the bar should always stay in the green, and the green marker isn't always on the top speed so sometimes the game will tell you not to go faster or either go slower. You press the space bar to activate your full bright headlights so you can see clearly but it doesn't last long. For it to be charged again, you'll see a mechanic on the road and you need to drive on the side. There's also a time limit. For you to win the game, there's this checkpoint that you'll need to go through. So a couple of seconds would be added to your time. I tried playing at top speed and it always sends me crashing down at everything. But then I got a hold of it, tried playing it like a pro, yeah. I reached a bonus level and when I reached the specific point. It's just a straight line, go to the end and you'll earn additional points and that's that. This looks crap today, but this is a gold mine for me back in the day. 
I remember the physics of the game, so realistic, and I really think I'm driving IRL. The fact that the ambience, it's night time, I imagine driving home and playing around the, the headlights and avoiding this crazy stuff so is very cool. Playing it today not just gave me nostalgia but also reminds me of how time flies so fast. From these games, now we have Forza, GT Sport, and other similar racing games that gives you the pleasure of driving just like in real life. This rather simple game advertisement I enjoyed in the past but now looking at the gameplay, the graphics, it's really old, plain simple game and if you all want to try it, I'll leave a link below to try it for yourself. Okay, next game, y'all even remember this gem, Midtown Madness y'all. For y'all who don't know, it's a 1999 racing game developed by Angel Studios and published by Microsoft for Microsoft Windows. It's another racing game, but guess what? It's more dynamic compared to that hella ad. It's a very old but beautiful racing game with a more realistic touch similar to Test Drive Unlimited. You start off having a car that you could drive around the city. It has free roam. OMG. I tried playing this game today and damn it's really nostalgic. But what sucks is the graphics are a bit off. And I can't even see some words in the options. I can't understand the key binding so I played it guessing what the controls are. On the menu, you got to pick a vehicle of course. I remember some cars are free and my first pick is my very first favorite car, this Mustang. So you pick a car, always pick the Mustang. You could also pick the weather condition and the time of the day. So even for a street racing game, this gives much more dynamic at the time where I can roleplay myself driving around the whole city in the rainy night or in snow while following the rules of the road. What a beautiful immersion. The free roaming is also cool. Once you've chosen your setup, it'll bring you to the city. I believe this is set in Chicago and they call it the Windy City. So I haven't been in Chicago in real life but way back then, this feels like I'm really driving in Chicago. The game dropped me in the car, cool thing, so you got the this dashboard cam, the game has an automatic and manual transmission, and the traffic is somehow, somehow realistic but sometimes the AI is crazy though. The handling is weird because sometimes it's so realistic but sometimes it's, it's very sensitive one press and you'll steer wildly so when the game starts i'm greeted with this default brace get ready to take a cruise through the windy city see all the sights of the beautiful city of chicago and right on there you need to drive and head to the road because the traffic will either pile up behind you or some crazy npc vehicle will smash into yours the first time I played today, I didn't know the controls due to that mess up graphics in the settings so I head on to the grass field and guess which key do what. After a bunch of testing, I got a hold of the controls, even managed what to press to activate the auto and manual transmission, the dashboard cam, the horn, the maps, the rear view mirror, the gear up and gear down, reverse and much more. So I remember when I drove the traffic light comes to red, all the car stops and I should stop too. Seeing and experiencing that as a kid gave me somehow a full immersion that I too could drive and it really felt good. The graphics are cool, the physics are awesome and sometimes you'll see a crash or some crazy NPC will crash into yours and you don't want to beat the red light too cause there's cops here. Basically you can turn them on or off with the start menu but if they're activated, they could bust your ass if you somehow beat the red lights. This game gave me full immersion, like a 10 year old kid learning how to drive in game. It was freaking awesome. You can free roam in Chicago, there's a freeway, you could roleplay that you would do a road trip and uh, avoid a collision. That's the time where I learned the manual and auto transmission. I always use the manual transmissions. And I also learned that you need to change gears to neutral on every stop so the car wouldn't move. The game also consists of other modes like blitz, checkpoints, and circuits. But if you just want to chill or practice driving, just go for the cruise mode. And there's even a bus and a truck in game. Now I could roleplay as a bus driver 
and it was pretty cool imagining that I'm driving a huge ass bus trying not to crash it while role playing like I should drive to the next stop or be in a road trip turning the dashboard view in the manual transmission is like a dream come true for kids who love to role play in driving games where you could free roam plus the weather effect it's just so cool I don't know much more of a simulation game back in the day I don't buy my own games, my pops always give me random gems to play and it's cool, by the time I play this, it was the best moments of my childhood it also practices my real life driving skills too but now after playing it for like an hour, I got tired of it fast it gave me one hell of a nostalgia for sure but it's cool on its time it's a gem for me but I won't really play it daily it's cool to revisit from time to time, we had all those games where we wanna play it again once just to feel the glory days again. So before I end this video, I'll leave a couple of gameplay for both games, Light Driver 2.0 and Midtown Madness. And I'll leave links down below for you to try it yourself. And as always, thank you for watching this video, subscribe if you want more and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.